We're on our way to the clothing store, and I knew the babies were tired. I knew they were fussy and hungry. But man, I didn't expect them to start puking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's doing up a lot. What is going on? Oh, God. You can lift her up. I did. <laughs> when your kids start puking, especially in the car, you automatically think, what's wrong? Was it something they ate? Did they put something in their mouth? Are they choking? Thank goodness mom is in the back seat because I don't know what I would be doing if she wasn't in the car with me right now. Do you want to drive? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom's trying to drive us home, which she's never driven the bus before, as I'm trying to, like, control what's happening in the back seat. Oh. She just threw up, too. We pull in the neighborhood, and Riley starts puking. What is going on? Having two sick babies is hard, but the potential of having five sick babies, it's overwhelming. It's a catastrophe. Go, just go and lock the door immediately, like, go, go, put her down. Get the other ones away from them because you don't want them to get sick. <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> Luckily, Olivia and Riley don't have any other sick symptoms, like fever or anything. And I'm just going to pray that the other three just don't get sick. That was like god awful. I don't know. You think they sick or what?